Hey everybody, David here, and uh, today I want to talk about some breaking news that dropped today uh, that's taking the internet by storm, specifically Marvel fans, and I'm one of you. Uh, so it looks like Disney is going to be purchasing 20th Century Fox, uh, all the movie rights and TV rights, I guess, that they own. Uh, from my understanding, that's from what I understand. Uh, so this is crazy news that has lots of fans uh, very excited and has some people like myself kind of nervous about it. Because number one, it feels like Disney's creating a monopoly. Uh, it's been feeling like that for some time. And uh, hearing this news kind of worries me a little bit. Uh, first, let's get into the good news. Uh, yeah, okay, X-Men and Fantastic Four are gonna be coming back to Marvel. That's the good news out of this. And, yeah, who doesn't want to see that happen? Uh, on the bad news side of that, we don't get movies like Logan and Deadpool. Or movies like New Mutants, which looks like an awesome uh, subgenre of the X-Men meeting, uh, getting mixed into the horror genre. Uh, that's something I have to respect about Fox, is that they are at least experimenting on different ways they can keep this superhero genre alive. And if, if Disney purchases, if Disney buys out 20th Century Fox, um, Disney's not gonna experiment like that, I don't think. Uh, now, to be fair, they have Marvel has been playing around with their cinematic universe in ways where, yeah, they they get Ant Man and make it into a heist film. They get Captain America and make his movie into a political thriller. They just turn Thor into an action comedy. Uh, so, would they? The problem is. They wouldn't go as far as Fox would. They would only go as far as their cinematic universe would let them. Uh, so yeah, they could mix the the subgenre up. But if you really look at Logan, Logan does not feel like an X-Men movie at all. If you told someone, hey, this is an X-Men movie, and they watched it, they'd be like, really? This doesn't feel like an X-Men movie? I'd, really? Um, it feels really like a Western with the superhero characters that we know and love in it. Uh, same thing with Deadpool. Deadpool is definitely a parody of superhero movies uh, because it makes fun of all the tropes that superhero movies have done. Um, and then, like I mentioned, New Mutants as well. It looks like a, a straight-up horror film. It didn't. If, if you showed that trailer to my parents, they would think that... This looks like a horror movie. This is not X-Men. It's X-Men, all right. There, see, the mutants, Marvel. Uh, so, I that's one thing that worries me. And then, even when we move out of the, the Marvel category, let's remember, if they purchase uh, Fox, if they buy out Fox, uh, that means... Disney will also get the rights to movies like Plan franchises like Planet of the Apes, Die Hard, Predator, Aliens. Those are just some uh, franchises that they'll gain control of. Planet of the Apes, I can see Disney playing with that. I can see them continuing it and maybe putting a lighter spin on it. Uh, maybe not. They've done some darker films uh, with the Marvel films. If you look at... Uh, Thor The Dark World, that was a pretty dark film. Same, same thing with Captain America Civil War and Winter Soldier. They were darker than the usual Marvel films. And then you can even go to Star Wars, which they own now too. Uh, you know, Rogue One was a pretty bleak film. Uh, so was the, the Pirates of the Caribbean films can even be pretty dark at times. Uh, so I don't think Disney will have a problem with that. Um, and even if they did, they can, like I said, lighten it up. But then you also have Alien and Predator, which are R-rated material films. And I don't see Disney doing Alien or Predator films. And uh, same thing with Die Hard. You know, I could see them rebooting Die Hard one day and then putting a PG-13 spin on it. Um, this is why it's healthy to have 
competitors, Disney. Uh, you need competitors so you can compete against them. If you take them out and liquidate them, get rid of them, and just make them part of you, uh, th that's playing a dangerous game right there. Then you guys are going to get a little bit cocky, and when you start making crappy films, the industry is going to be going down. It's already bad enough that some studios, even the big ones, like the big three, are Warner Brothers, Fox, and Disney. And then you got Universal and Paramount uh, following them, close behind. And then you got <laughs> Sony struggling, you know, trying to keep up with everybody else. Uh, I'm surprised Disney didn't go out and buy Sony because that would have made more sense since Sony seems to be dying off slowly anyways. I mean, the only movie they need from them is... Spider-Man, and personally, I think Disney could probably make an excellent Ghostbusters movie. I'm just saying. Uh, so, look, there's some good things about this and some bad things about this. I know. So, I, I was reading an article that says how 20th Century Fox still owns the distribution rights to Star Wars and New Hope. Um, and that's also another factor that can go into all of this. I don't know. To, I, I didn't read too much of the details on that, but it had something to do with that, that that could also factor into this. Um, so there's a lot of reasons why Disney would probably want to do this, but at the same time, I don't think it's a good idea. I hope Disney keeps out of it. I just wish they would just buy X-Men and Fantastic Four back, and if not both, at least Fantastic Four, because I think X-Men is fine where it is with Fox, so I could actually live without X-Men being part of the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. It would be nice to see Wolverine hanging out with Spider-Man, but I know we're not going to get that, So, or, well, maybe we might now, so um, I don't know. Tell me, guys, if you guys are watching this, comment below and tell me, do you want this to happen, or do you think this is a bad idea? For all the franchises involved, not just the Marvel franchises, the other franchises that Disney owns. Let's remember, I mean, Avatar, James Cameron's directing Avatar movies, and 20th Century Fox is going to be distributing them. That means the Avatar films will be owned by Disney as well. And they'll go beyond five Avatar films, believe me. Like, James Cameron's planning four more. Believe me, we'll be getting ten Avatar movies. If Disney gets their hands on it. Um, not that that's a bad thing. I mean, yeah, sure, it could be cool. But at the same time, it's a little scary to think about. Because of um, the competition will get less intimidating for Disney. And sometimes it's good to have more competition. Because it will make you strive to be better than what you're doing. So, I don't know. That's just one way of looking at it. So, guys, comment below. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you are someone that just happens to come here and check this video out. Um, I always talk about movies and some of my favorite shows. And uh, until next time, take care.